We have some new stock Windows 10 Pro retail keys. Still the low price of $12.50. Get them before they are sold out. You can find the link in the video description if you would like to purchase one. We all have seen the wonderful footage of Unreal Engine 5 and with that also these very high resolution 4K and even 8K rendered textures from Quixel. There are a lot of artists which already did use these wonderful uh, high resolution textures from Quixels in other programs like 3ds Max, Maya, etc. And I thought it would be fun in this video to let you guys guess if you are able to actually see the difference between a render and a real life picture. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you guys a picture and you have uh, let's say about 10 seconds to guess whether it is a um, a real life picture or a render and after 10 seconds I will provide you with the answer so you can sleep at night again without having to worry what uh, that specific picture was. So enjoy this video, leave a comment in the comment section what you uh, thought of this video and hope to see you at the next video.
So as you can see, it's harder than you think. Some of these renders look so super real that it's really hard to distinguish them from reality. I see that myself in an example, the IKEA catalogs that I'm sometimes wondering, is this actually a real picture or not just a render because they look so close together when you compare them next to each other. So anyway, for the ones who haven't seen the Unreal Engine 5 uh, demo from Epic Games and what it is capable of, I thought it would be nice to end this video with their presentation so you can have a view on what we can expect from the future with Unreal Engine 5. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you guys at one of my next videos. Take care and bye bye. This has to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. 
You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. Not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal is open. Don't fail me now. to see what's next.